Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Dave back with you here today. Um, it is a very, very cold January day here in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, my flat water today is frozen, so I had two options. Get out my uh, kayak ergometer and paddle in the basement while watching some mindless television, or get out somewhere and paddle some water from for some amount of time. And that's where I am today. Um, I'm on the Rivanna River in Charlottesville. I'm two sets of rapids up above Darden Tau Park. This is what's known as Pipeline Rapid. That's the golf course across the way. I'm putting in just upstream of this rapid. I can paddle up a mile or two until I hit the next set of rapids, and I don't know if I'll be able to paddle through them today or if I'll have to portage. Um, I probably won't portage just to stay dry. Uh, but the idea here is just to get in some paddling and once I get upstream as far as I can, I might just sit there and paddle upstream just to get in the strokes and not move anywhere. I find that a whole lot more fulfilling than sitting on an ergometer. Um, you know, there's a time and a place for ergometers and sometimes you're just not motivated to get outdoors. And I actually sell plans on how to make a kayak ergometer from a Nordic Track ski machine. I'll drop that uh, link below, um, but nothing replaces getting out there. So I just wanted to touch in. I'm doing well. I know I've been silent for a little bit, you know, with the holidays and, you know, this thing called life going on. Um, I haven't been able to check in as often, but I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope uh, you're avoiding this new strain of the, the nasty, nasty going around. Um, uh, man, get out there, stay healthy, keep your body strong. Some of the best things you can do. it uh i just posted my tracks i got in a lot more paddling today than i thought i would that first set of rapids that i thought might be the stopper i was able to punch up through there and keep going much farther than i thought um if you are a beginner or an inexperienced kayaker don't do stuff like this in the winter time uh, this channel is largely talking to uh, highly skilled uh, fitness paddlers and kayak racers people whose skills are radically above average um so only really experienced people should do this and even with that said i'm in a full wetsuit i'm in the stubbiest widest most stable boat i have but it is a way for us to get out there on water and paddle more in the winter time uh, like i said my flat water's frozen today so that was not an option this is way better than being in a basement on an ergometer or uh, in the gym somewhere so uh, another thing, when you're paddling up through rapids, if you're paddling upstream, it will absolutely teach you how to read a river and where the slowest water is and where the fastest water is. If you're going upstream and ferrying across the river and you hit a rock in the side, um, it's going to teach you to expect the unexpected and how to maintain balance and composure when you take a bump that you weren't expecting. So uh, it was a great day out here. I was so glad I, uh, I thought to come out here. I've been paddling upstream um it's been a little bit of my secret weapon over the years just to learn how to read rivers because that directly translates into knowledge that can be applied when you're racing downriver you will know where the fast water is if you've paddled enough up water so there you go um check me out at davethekayaker.com if you've ever wanted a performance racing boat uh check out my wonderful designs of west side boat shop kayaks at, at the website and uh until next time love this sport Take what it has to give you and pay it forward. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.